Good morning. Welcome to day 19 of our guided meditations. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Good. Let yourself land here in this moment, in this body. Today's a Thursday, and I can feel how much everyone is working through and processing. There's so much shifting and moving energetically. So what if in this moment you claim a pause, you claim a reset, so you can just come into your own body, into this moment, and see what's here, and then reset your energy so that as you go forward, it's moving in the direction that feels better to you, or feels more fun to you, or feels more in flow and alignment instead of struggle and strife. So how do we begin that? You begin by coming into your body first. So many of us are up above, right? We're busy in our heads. We're physically running and moving faster and trying to juggle everything and satisfy everybody. And so the first step is to really feel your physical body. Many of our legs, I think, stay a little numb. You know, we tend to sit a lot. So we're in chairs and our legs aren't moving as much as they used to when either we were younger or past generations. You know, there was a lot more physical moving around a house, moving between towns and villages, having to walk because cars and transportation was not as easy as it is now. So feel your legs. You might want to actually tap them with your hands, right? Oh, these thighs. Those knees, reach down a little lower, these knees that hold us um, connected between the lower leg and the upper leg, these very important places of ego, right? Knee stores ego energy. So just kind of feel with your hands these physical legs that don't normally get a lot of attention from us. Yeah, maybe if you're an athlete, right, you spend quite a bit of time nourishing your legs, taking care of them, pampering your feet, getting pedicures. But for most of us, um, legs are just those things that we only pay attention to when they get sore or tired. So what if in this moment you can honor these really cool appendages <laughs> that allow you to walk, allow you to stand up, yeah, for anyone who has lost the use of their legs, um, they can tell you what a gift, what a um, privilege it is to walk. And yet we take them for granted. So see if you can imagine that your legs from the bottoms of your soles, from your tip of your toes, can start to fill up with your attention, with your focus, with your gratitude. It might feel like um, maybe liquid gold, if you can picture that. So you put your love and attention at the bottoms of your feet and you just feel your legs starting to fill up. Fill up with love and appreciation for the gift of these things that, that are attached to you. And just feel that attention moving all the way up your calves and then massaging those knees and then more of your attention and your love filling up your thighs all the way up to your hip bones yeah it's um, it might be an unusual feeling for you right to put this much attention on your legs so go ahead and just pause for a moment and feel what do you notice about your legs in this moment? They might feel a little heavier. You might notice that you have to sort of concentrate to relax the muscles, to not hold them tense, to let your feet really feel heavier on the floor. Yeah, there you go. And right at that moment where you bring your full attention, feel how connected you become to that physical part of your body. Good. And then continue that as we go up your body. So imagine your hip bones and your 
uh, pelvic area can also just fill up with that love you have for yourself, for your cool body that we take for granted so often. Yep, feel that love and that warmth and that filling up as it moves into the core of your body. Yeah, for many of you, this might be a really unusual feeling, right? Like, oh, what am I doing? I'm filling up with me. As you move into that belly area, that solar plexus, the space of I am here in this life, in this body, in this moment. For many of us, that's a very unusual feeling to fill up that space. So yeah, just allow it to happen because you put your attention on feeling love and warmth for yourself and your physical body, the energy follows that. It fills you right up. Yeah, and then bring that warmth and that love all the way up through the heart space. If it feels tender, you can just sort of wash over it. If it feels good, you can love on your heart a little more. Right? You can just feel the expansion of your rib cage. As that warmth moves up towards your neck and your shoulders, you can feel your shoulders like leaning fully open, stretching out. Your back gets more, uh, it gets taller, it gets more lengthened, if that's the right word. And then there's more room for that warmth, that attention that you're bringing to your own body to move all the way up into your neck. Yeah, and then as you move through the throat and the throat chakra, you might feel a little tightness or um, a bit of a contraction. It's unusual to be this filled up with ourselves. So just love your throat. Let the energy move right through and up into your head this busy busy place for all of us and then just flow that warmth for yourself all the way up through to the top of your head to your hairline good yeah and then just let it kind of come up to the top of your body and overflow out of the top of your head and just come out the outside of your body just warmth and love for you your own self, all of your attention fully here. They can just wash down around the outside of your physical body and cocoon you in. You with you, how cool is that? Yeah, and then feel the bottoms of your feet as you um, really felt the weight of them on the ground. Imagine the bottoms of your feet can open up and roots can start to grow down like a big solid tree all the way into the earth. And then as the roots go down, they can start to pull from the earth support and encouragement and more love, more nourishment for your physical body. And feel some of that energy running up through your feet into your legs and as it does that it can um, push more love and more attention and more warmth through your body so there's just this movement this flow of all of that through your physical space so good yeah so good this is what it feels like for each of us to be filled up with ourselves. It's not, it's not an ego filling, right? A, um, I'm better than you, or I have more than you, or um, I'm superior in any way. It's just a really gentle uh, solidness for our own individuality, right? I am me. I am me and I'm fully here and this is my body that I inhabit that I move around in that I forget is really super um, yeah there isn't even a word for it super majestic <laughs> super in-depth super well designed right this physical body is 
it's awesome. It's all inspiring. Even if it has limitations, even if my legs don't work or my arms aren't strong or my heart has um, pain and there's, you know, um, arrhythmia or my belly has issues inside of it and digestion is a problem. Even if illness sits inside of this body, the majesty of how it all connects and coordinates and works together is is a gift is incredible is worthy of my attention being put on it with appreciation and gratitude yeah and what if your body with illness can be teaching you right can be showing you places where you're out of alignment or places where um, there's healing emotionally to do? What if your body is this really beautiful teacher? And because you bring your attention to it, and you come to this pause so you can feel your body and be with your body, then the illness has the opportunity to talk to you, to guide you, to bring you to a place of quiet so that perhaps you can heal. Yeah. Yeah, it's an interesting idea, isn't it, that our, our wise bodies are our teachers. All right, so go ahead and run anything that came up as I was saying all of that that doesn't feel in alignment or feels like it needs a release. Just run all of that down to your feet and then drain that energy all the way down and out into the ground and let the earth take that and recycle. So there is a purifying process that I feel... Um, is happening at a global level that sometimes we sense and often we don't and we ignore. Um, the earth, the role that the earth plays is a, in my opinion, is a um, recycling, a purifying tank. You know, we take all this waste and we uh, send it into the earth through the water system, through the ground through the air, right? Like all these toxins and pollutants that we have in our physical bodies and in our environments, we send out into the earth. And the earth is shifting. It's changing. Um, many are alarmed, right? So it could be seen as a bad thing and global warming is going to destroy our planet. For me, it feels more like there's an emotional, um, an energetic shift that's happening across our planet. And we as humans are active participants in that purifying and recycling. So when we have emotions and illness in our bodies that don't serve us or that um, have completed because we've learned the lesson and we're holding on to them, what I feel strongly is the earth actually is willing to receive that energy, to receive those emotional blocks down through our feet into the dirt, and then they can be purified. The emotions can be recycled. The toxic energy can be um, dispersed into the dirt, into the salt water, and then regenerated as new birth. You know, we're in this spring season of new growth coming up through the dirt. And we had this long winter with snow and cold and hibernation where, you know, growth was happening even as we didn't see it. I feel that for our planet. We do not understand yet the complexity of what this planet transmutes or transforms on our behalf and there's 
a place we can come to it of fear, you know, that we're destroying everything, or we can come to it from a space of trusting, trusting that this earth is working with us, that humans and and salt water and dirt are constantly co-creating together and one's healing supports the other's healing so as we heal and release energies into the earth the earth can heal and shift and better align with these humans that inhabit this earth so what does that mean for us For me, the pathway of energy has just become clearer and clearer in my work. The running of energy down through our chakra system, down through our physical legs, into our feet, and then releasing that into the earth is a pathway that is co-creating with our planet. It is our partnership with the earth to send energy down and release it and then allow the recycling the purifying to occur so that new energy can come back up and in so that energy can come you know through new growth of plants through purification of salt water through evaporation right like heat bringing water up and into the clouds and then rain and bringing it down like there are all these ways that our planet has of recycling energy and we choose how we bring that new energy into our bodies so for some like for me i like to plant my feet on the dirt on the ground and send toxins out into the ground and then imagine it being purified and then pull new, powerful, strengthened energy from the earth up through my feet and run it up my body that way. Breath. Breath is a powerful way to bring in purified energy from the earth. Right? So the earth is constantly processing uh, carbon dioxide and oxygen and um, breath in through our nose, deep inhales of fresh air and then running that through our systems and pushing out toxins through our feet is one way to do that recycling. Yeah, you can try that. You can try each one as I say it and just feel what feels right for you. There might be a hundred other ways that we haven't identified yet of bringing in purified energy to our bodies and then releasing toxins out nutrition food right the cleansing of um, our food and moving to more organics and gmos like all of this is us working with our planet to heal heal this partnership Yeah, so what does that mean? I keep coming back to this question. What does this mean for us? Um, Awareness feels like the first step. Practice, right? Practicing, actually before practice, it feels like trust. So awareness that there is this co-creation that we're doing with our planet. Trust that we know what what supports the earth and the earth will teach us if we don't um, know the ways or the hows yet that meditation will guide us in this co-creation so trusting um, trusting the process you know finding for yourself what works to release emotional blocks and energies that aren't serving your body or your soul and allowing yourself to receive in more purified ways of being trusting that process and then practice 
Okay. Consistent, consistent, consistent practice. So what that looks like for me is, um, you know, daily meditations. So I'm constantly running energy through my body. Um, I'm aware when I feel heavy or blocked and I pay attention to that and then I create quiet space and I move that energy just like I'm showing you here. I create a pathway through my body where energy can run down my legs to my feet and into the earth. I use breath to support that pathway. Um, I practice gratitude and appreciation for this physical body, right? So I, I treat it well with nutrition and I exercise, not as much as I would like, but I exercise. I connect to the earth. So I walk in nature. I sit in water. I take salt baths. I slow down to appreciate when I eat my food, what it tastes like. Yeah. Practice. Daily practice in a million ways. And in doing that, we honor this co-creation with the planet that we are living in. Yeah, and then attention, paying attention to our bodies, to our emotions, to our heart space, to the energy that is constantly flowing through us. Eastern medicine calls it chi, prana, right? There's all these names, but life, the life force, the breath that is in us that makes um that connects us to our soul. We pay attention to that and we trust and follow its guidance. And you can get that guidance through prayer, meditation, exercise, journaling, you know, so many ways. Yeah, so anything that came up in you as I was saying all of that, um, that feels like it wants to move, just run it through your body down to your feet, uh, your feet into Mama Earth with a big sigh and exhale uh, an open heart of gratitude for this partnership that we have together. Beautiful. <laughs> Not what I thought we would be looking at today, but so perfect. So perfect. Yeah, I invite you to spend some time feeling into the processes, the practices that would support your awareness. If that feels too far forward in the path, begin with awareness. You know, how does your body feel? Where do you feel like you have emotional blocks? And, you know, start there. Feel those places. Love those places. Allow energy to start to move through those places and down and out. Create a pathway. And then feel energy start to cycle through your body. Let yourself receive in support from our earth. Yeah. It's all a journey. It's all a journey. And we just examine each place we're at along the way. Ah, so much love from my heart to yours today. Enjoy this beautiful gift of a day.